I was a sprinter in college and unfortunately was rather accident prone. I ended up spending more time in the training room than I did on the track. And it was really during those hours in the training room where I became interested in the human body. I therefore decided to uh, pursue a degree in biomechanics, which is the study of human movement. As a master's student, I was exposed to research focused on exercise interventions in older adults who had recently fallen. And it was really at that time where I really began to understand the importance of falls and really was able to see meaningful change in older adults as a result of exercise. And that has really led me to today where I focus my research line on alleviating the burden of balance decline and falls in older adults. I think most people are aware now that one in three older adults will fall each year. But what is particularly surprising to me is that that statistic has been around for over 25 years and it really hasn't changed. So that means that while exercise and activity are certainly important, we still have a long way to go to solve the problem of falls in older adults. In order to avoid falls, we have to be able to maintain our balance when we stand and walk. Balance is certainly dependent upon our muscles and bones, but what most people don't think about is that in order to maintain balance, we have to pay attention to the world around us. We have to be able to hold the position of our body in our short-term memory. We have to make the right decisions to slow down. And that means that balance is very much dependent upon numerous aspects of cognitive function and underlying networks in the brain. In fact, our brain is likely never more active than it is when we are walking down the street or walking in an unfamiliar or busy environment. The fact that balance is so dependent upon cognitive function and underlying brain networks is really exciting to me because I think it offers new novel targets for balance intervention and fall prevention. I think this offers a very exciting opportunity because most fall prevention and balance training programs really focus on muscle function. Um, but what our research suggests is that we can also improve balance by targeting cognitive function as well as the brain networks and brain functions that give rise to our cognitive function. Transcranial direct current stimulation is one such technology. This technology works by sending very low level electrical currents between two or more electrodes placed on the scalp. Some of that current penetrates our skin and our skull and actually can influence and change or modulate the excitability of our brain tissue. Over the past six years, we have conducted multiple pilot studies where we have demonstrated that this type of brain stimulation targeting cognitive regions of the brain can actually improve gait and balance in older adults. These pilot studies have led to multiple larger trials that we are now conducting, testing the effects of transcranial direct current stimulation on balance and falls in older adults with Parkinson's disease, in those who have recently fallen, and even in those with mild Alzheimer's disease. In order to truly minimize the incidence of falls in older adults, we have to work towards maximizing our brain function. Over the past 10 years, the Marcus Institute has provided me with incredible resources, as well as opportunities to collaborate with world-leading experts in aging research. It is my hope that with technologies like transcranial direct current stimulation, we can begin to truly make a significant difference in the incidence of falls in older adults.